good day Ender 3 friends as you can see I am printing flexi Rexy but I'm here to share with you my new idea so once upon a time I had the dope Ender and now I am sharing with you letters that you can do in Tinkercad and simply slide them in and rearrange your words every day so for the moment I give you the yo dope ender but when I'm done in a few minutes it'll have other cool stuff and of course I'm gonna share with you the Tinkercad project so that you can have all the alphabet you need and change your name every day if you so desire so let's track down that project in Tinkercad once again sign in I recommend using the sign in with social providers as soon as you're in we want to go to this search button and we want to search for Ender Letters. Initially, of course, it is sorted by likes, but we want to sort by latest so that we can find it. And right here, you can find the letters by me, HL Mod Tech. And the nice thing about this is when you hit copy and tinker, you can get in that exact same project and you're able to use these letters to make your very own letters for your Ender. So let me show you how these are made. Uh, I'm going to bring out the H. I'm going to do Control Z because I meant to grab both parts. And I'll bring it out here in front. Uh, you can see there that there are two separate pieces. If you want to make this a different letter, like I'm going to make it the letter I, it is now ready to be used. I don't have to have the part be this wide though, so I can simply grab it and I can shrink it with this black handle so that it just slides to the size I want it to be. I can then grab both of those pieces and use the amazing align tool and I want them centered this way and now I have got a printable letter I that will slide right into the 2020 extrusion wherever you want it on the printer. Say I wanted my printer to be called high. <laughs> Once again I would grab both pieces by dragging a box that touched both and then I would bring them both to the front and I am now ready to put that or any other word that I wanted. So you just simply click the letter, change the letter, say you need an R, double check to make sure it fits and then if they do fit and you're happy with them, simply hit export and we only want to export the selected and we do it as an STL put it in your STL folder. I've got a special 3D modeling folder on Dropbox where they all go. And this one would be called the letter L. And I also made it a capital L. So if I want to make, or I'm sorry, this would be a capital R. Uh, if I want to do lowercase r, I can do that as well. And I'll be able to save them and make any word I want. I can just print the letters at will. They slide into the extrusion. It's super slick. Uh, notice I got rid of a letter to make that happen. Uh, you could duplicate these by selecting the two pieces, hitting duplicate, control D, and then just moving the parts. I'm going to move that with an arrow key so I don't accidentally grab a handle. And then I could adjust it to make it whatever I want. So just like that, you've got your own set of letters. You can also play with different fonts, uh, sans, mono, whatever you want. And then there's also a font under all shapes called scripts and let me show you how this works I'm gonna hit delete on the letter C I'm gonna go to all shapes and I'm gonna scroll through and I'm gonna find the script one right here and uh, I want to put it on that face so I'm gonna hit delete press W click the face so it's gonna go right there and now I'm gonna drop it on when I show the panel it lets me pick all the different ones script is actually a poor choice because there are gaps you could make it work but you really want one that has connected pieces bay best is good major snafu would have issues um technique yeah the e might be a problem although if it landed on so you could maybe have letters that work um calligraphy that'll work um Veranda would work or Verdana stencil stencil wouldn't necessarily work but it'd be easy to sneak a piece behind it 
So I'm going to go back to um, Babus. And I'm going to pretend that I want the letter Z. Shift Z. It makes the Z. Select the two parts. Grab that align tool. And boom. I've now got a Z ready for business. Uh, you'll notice the height is wrong on that. I dropped it at the wrong height. I'm going to hit W to get rid of the other work plane. I'm going to align those. And this time I'm going to make sure it's aligned like that as well. I'll show you one more quick trick. Got to change the depth to two millimeters thick. Now it matches. And then if you're looking closely, this is below zero. So the way that I fix it is first I'm going to hit group. I'm going to lift this thing way up in the air and then see this 41. I'm going to change it to zero and snap. It is right at the exact right height. So friends, there's a little bit of Tinkercad training and a super cool way to make printable letters so that you can make your Ender 3 look unbelievably awesome, have a different sign on it for every day uh, with me in my classroom. Uh, I think this is going to be a total blast for the kids to adjust what it says. Uh, I can even put up little words up there showing what it's printing. Uh, all kinds of crazy things that I'm thinking I can do with this. I uh, hope you find it useful as well. If you like this movie, please click the like button. If you haven't subscribed, please hit subscribe. If you've got a comment or a question, please add it below. And if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new movie from HL Mod Tech, please hit that notification bell. Custom letters that you can slide on and spell whatever you want. Yo, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Thank you.